Hi guys, today's Friday, May 22nd, and today it's going to be a short and quick video because I want to talk to you guys about time management and sharpening the saw. Do you hear my tweet deck? That's all about time management. I just did a video for my, my channel on YouTube about why I love Twitter and how Twitter can help you organize and streamline your networking. And with my schedule right now, I am so busy. It's crazy. I have to find ways to streamline everything that I do so that it's not g pulling me in 9,000 different directions. And so a bunch of unexpected things happened this week. Ah! But life goes on because Mr. Hollick is so forgiving and awesome. So it's all good. All right. So I do want to talk to you about sharpening the saw. And when I Googled something, I found this great website called Steve Pal Pavlina.com. Steve Pavlina.com. And I'll, I will put a link in the description field. Personal development for sharp or smart people. Okay. And he talks about sharpening the saw. And I thought this was really interesting. Habit number seven in Steve Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is called sharpening the saw. Covey uses the common analogy of a woodcutter who is sawing for several days straight and is becoming less and less productive. The process of cutting dull, the process of cutting dulls blades. So the solution is to periodically sharpen the saw. So he's saying that most people, when they think of sharpening the saw, they think of taking a break and going on vacation, which is true because that's needed. You need downtime. You need to decompress. But he said there's also an aspect, uh, there's another whole way of looking at sharpening the saw, which is sharpen the saw of you, like how you're coming about it. Because if you just go on a vacation, you're just setting down the dull blade, you're leaving, and you're coming back to the dull blade, and then you're sharpening, or you're, you're sawing again. So... He suggests, so he suggests exercise, improve your diet, educate yourself, learn a new skill, join a club, meditate. I love meditating. Write in your journal. That's important. Have a deep conversation with someone. I mean, that is so, think about that. You know, do you have someone that you call or that you go to a cafe with and you just feel so refreshed and inspired after you talk to them? That is sharpening your saw. That's an aspect or that's an example of that. Set some new goals or review and update old goals. That can also get you really like back on track and motivated because sometimes the, the saw gets dull because we don't really relate to our goals anymore. Or maybe we've accomplished a bunch of them and we haven't set any new goals. Organize your home or office. Go out on a date. Clear out a bunch of little tasks that you've been putting off. That will make you feel good too because a little, little by little in your mind, if you look over and see something that's undone and you're really busy, if you just stop and go take care of all those little things, you're going to feel so much better because then when you look over there, you know you've cleared that and you're more focused and sharp for what you need to be focused and sharp for. And the 13th one that um, he suggests is to read his blog. Isn't that cute? So, you know, I mean, we don't think about stuff like that. We don't think of those kinds of things as sharpening our saw, but they are, you know, like stress and just pushing yourself and pushing yourself and pushing. You can't always do that. You need to make sure you keep everything in balance. I know I don't do this enough. I definitely don't do this enough. I always think like, if I work a little bit harder, I can get to that place and then I can rest. And that's not the way it works. You have to stop and take care of yourself every day. You have to have it balanced and you have to take care of yourself. So go out there and sharpen your saw and have a wonderful three-day weekend. I'm going to the winery this weekend to shoot for my documentary, which I'm really excited about, even though my job is crazy with Transformers right now. I'm still going to go up there. I'm going to do it because I have to do it. That's the independent filmmaker mind state. You just have to be kind of like crazy, and you're tired, and you don't want to, but you do it anyways because that's what you have to do. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys have a safe holiday, and I'll see you all back here next week. Bye-bye. Oh, and I forgot to say, congratulations to the 5 Awesome Optimist channel. We are now a YouTube partner. Woohoo! And Mr. Hollick's channel is a YouTube partner. So that's awesome. Mr. Hollick, you totally deserve it with all your hard work. And thank you for putting this channel together. I am honored to be part of it. And I'm really excited that we are a YouTube channel now. And do you guys like the new banners and stuff? I like totally like them and stuff. I feel like I'm part of something for realios. All right, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.